Goodies Corner. Today I'm going to be reviewing the third book in the Last Kids on Earth series, The Last Kids on Earth and the Nightmare King. I loved the beginning of the book and the end of the book because in the middle there was so much twists and turns. Let's get started talking about this book. In this book, the four kids are playing a game called Mario Kart, and when that happening, a really special thing is happening. A radio is speaking, and it's, a, it's like humans talking to them, so they get really excited, but a monster comes in and destroys the antenna. So they go to Big Al's junk place after defeating the monster. So they fixed the antenna and found the antenna there and fixed it up. Then, they wanted to deserve themselves some fun. So they go to the circus, and there's this big monster, like always, and they get the mo their friends of the monsters to help them defeat it, and they wanted to go on this big roller coaster. And when that's happening, the radio starts speaking. It says that, we are New York kids. You need to come over to ours because we also survived the monster collapse. Now I wanted to talk about some important lines in this. The important line and the character is Jack. Jack is a very weird, weird person because he gets always visions of Rezok and no one really knows why. See you later at the fourth book. Cosmic Beyond. This book was so good also, and they made this new monster friend, and he helped to do their friends. Now let's get started talking about this. The four kids, remember in the third book they were saying that New York kids are still here, alive, not zombified? So that's what happens to this book. They go, they travel to New York, and they found this girl, but they weren't, but she wasn't really natural. She was speaking Rezok's language. So they had to find out more about her so she doesn't also try to destroy the monster's world. So they steal a book from her and show it to Bartle. Bartle, by the way, is the monster's um, leader. So Bartle says this has lot about cosmic dimensions and that's where Re everybody loved Rezok and everyone was addicted to him and was trying to destroy the world and they were super duper scared and when that was happening Dirk also got zombieified by bitten by a zombie so they had to fix him up first and that's when they find this monster named Dwarf he says this eyeball will fix your cure for Dirk. So they give it to him and he gets all cured back. And they still didn't defeat the Rezok girl, but they're still trying to. See you later at the fifth book. This fifth book is all about Jack's sword, which is named Luvisi Sizer. The name of the fifth book on Last Kids on Earth is Last Kids on Earth and the Midnight Blade. In this book, it's really cool where his sword gets loads of new superpowers. So now let's get started talking about it. The first thing is one night, just no one really knows why, his sword named Luisi Slicer just get extra superpowers. And they needed to train out with Bartle so they could figure out more stuff. So they go to Bartle and he trains with his Lavisi Slicer. But nothing was really happened and he didn't really get better with it anyways. And on the other hand, Dirk's still kind of unconscious. So they went to find a Medicure for him and Dirk. Going again and when that happens, a bigger form of throw comes back and they don't know what to do and they have a big question can they stop throw and defeat the cosmic dimension 
And, well, they did defeat Thrall. So that's what happened in this book. That's it for this book review, guys. If you like this book review, please like and subscribe. Bye!